Welcome back to my channel. Today we will discuss on topic 5 work energy and power. So in this video we will discuss on subtopic 5.3 power. Okay, power is defined as the rate at which work is done. B. The average power P equals to work done divided by the time it takes to do. So we can write P average is equal to change of the work done over change of time. C. Instantaneous power. Okay, so instantaneous power meaning that the power at that moment. Our instantaneous power, we can write as D, work done over DT, and work done is equal to F dot S. So therefore, if we differentiate S, we will get the velocity. Meaning that P instantaneous is equal to F dot V Vector F dot Vector V Or we can write it as F V cos theta Because this is a dot product So we write it as cos theta So meaning that we have two types of power The first one is average power The second one is instantaneous power Since the work done in a process Involved the transformations of energy From one type to another Power can also be defined as the rate at which energy is transformed. Okay, so we can write P average is equal to change of the energy over change of time. Power is a scalar quantity, meaning that we only need to consider the magnitude. And the SI unit is joule per second, or usually we will write as watt. For a particular purpose, a larger unit is often used. So the horsepower is the value, the unit that we will always use for power Where 1 horsepower is equal to 746 watt Okay, next we go to exercise 4 A stationary car of mass 1000 kg starts to accelerate at a constant rate So they give us the mass and it reaches a speed of 10 meter per second in Second. So the stationary car meaning that the initial velocity is equal to 0 and the final velocity is equal to 10. So these are the informations that we have where we have u equals to 0, we have v equals to 10 and then time taken is 8 seconds and the m is equal to 1000 kg. Now we need to determine the work done on the car in this time interval. We have the Initial velocity, final velocity, time So we can find the work done Where we know that work done From our work energy theorem Is equal to change of kinetic energy So therefore our work done is equal to Half m v square minus half m u square Where u equals to 0 So this one is equal to 0 So therefore our work done is equal to half m is 1000 v is 10 square so finally we will get 550000 okay 50000 joule or we can write it as 5 times 10 to the power of 4 joule next the average power produced by the car engine Average power meaning that we need to use P average equals to change of the work done over change of the time. So change of work done just now we already find out where is equal to 50,000 over time interval is 8 seconds. So therefore we will get 6 times 6.25 times 10 to the power of 3 watt. So this is the answer for questions 1 Next we go to questions 2 Questions 2 A person with a mass 50 kg runs 
200 meter up a straight incline at the angle of 20 degree so questions a to find the work done work done we have two ways to find either we use work energy theorem or we can use work done okay so work done net work done is equal to f net times s cos theta since we don't have the velocity so we can you cannot use the work energy theorem so we use these equations to find our net work done okay f net is the chapter four okay later we need to draw the free body diagram to determine f net Okay, so F net here, we need to draw three body diagrams. So first, we need to ask five questions where uh, we need to find out all the forces involved. So the first one, we have weight. We have the normal force. Uh, we don't have tension. We don't have uh, external force. And also, we don't have frictional force. Okay, so uh, only two forces involved in the, for, this, for this person. Okay, so we need to resolve it into X component. And also y component okay so where y component involve normal and also here we can resolve this normal uh, this weight we can resolve it into uh, weight for x component okay and also weight for y component okay so wrong direction huh? okay actually it's uh, going downward not, not upward okay so I draw again okay so this weight is going downward Okay, so this is the word weight for x component. So now we want to determine f net. Uh, where the angle here is 20, yeah, I forgot to tell. Okay, so f net we have uh, we can resolve into two components. Uh. The first one is x component, the second one is y component. Okay, so for y component, we know that this person is not going up or going down. So y component f net is equal to zero. Okay, whereas F net for X component is not equal to zero uh, because it's accelerate upward. Okay, so the force that similar directions with the net force or the motion is positive. Here, our X component, we only have weight for X component where our motion is upward. Motion is upward, but our weight for X component is downward. So therefore, opposite direction, we should put negative WX or we can write as negative MG because the angle here is opposite. So it's MG sine 20 degree. Okay, so substitute the value 50 G is 9.81 sine 20 degree. Okay, so if you press calculator, okay, you press calculator and see what is the value 50 times 9.81 sine 20 okay so you will get negative 167.676 newton so this is the f net for x component because y component we know that is equal to zero so we substitute back negative 167.76 okay s is the displacement so the displacement is equal to 200 meter Okay, cause displacement and the motions is in the same direction. Eh? Displacement and the net force is equal uh, is the same direction, it's parallel, so it's cause zero. So therefore we will get negative 3.36 times 10 to the power of 4 joule. So this is the work done. Next we want to find average power. So similar like questions number one, average power equals to work done over t. Work done is negative 3.36 times 10 to the power of 4. And the time taken is equal to 50 seconds. So we will get the answer is equal to 6.7 times 10 to the power of Okay, so you can press the calculator to find the answer. Okay, so or you can write it as uh, 672 watt also can. Okay, if you don't want to write times 10 to the power of uh, 2. Uh, okay, so this is the answer for questions number 2. Okay, next we go to questions number 3. Okay, questions number 3 here, we have two parts where the first part, the question said, 
when uh, s is equal to 0 to 2 meter time taken is 1.5 second and the second part is when the displacement is equal to 2 until 4 meter the time taken is 2 second so these are the informations that we get so we can divide into two parts parts number one is uh, this triangle where 0 until 2 meter and the second part is the a rectangle B where the displacement is from 2 until 4 meter okay so the first questions find or determine the uh, average power received when the object is moved from 0 to 2 meter okay P average is equals to P average is equal to work done over T where work done is area under graph huh? work done is equal to area under graph of f versus uh, f versus s okay so when we say 0 and 2 meter meaning that we want to find the area under graph for part a where is equals to uh, half and then the displacement is 2 force is 5 Okay, time taken here is 1.5 uh, here is mentioned here 1.5 so we can cancel 2, two we can cancel off so finally we will get the answer is equal to 3.3 3.31 okay, next one is the displacement between 2 meter until 4 meter so again P equals to work done over T and work done is area underground so this part B so this is a rectangle where our area is equal to 4 minus 2 is 2 and then 5 over time taken for part B is 2 seconds. So we cancel off, you will get 5 watt. Okay, so this is power for 2 until 4 meter. Now we want to find the P average for S equals to 0 until S equals to 4 meter. So P total is equal to work done total over time taken total okay okay so work total just now we found that is 5 joule and also 10 joule meaning that part a plus part b uh, the total work done so it's 5 plus 10 and the time taken also 1.5 plus 2 second so it's 15 over 3.5 so finally, we will get 4.3 Okay, so this is the answer for questions number 3. Okay, last question. A car with the power P100 kilowatt produce a constant force F. Calculate the velocity of the car. Okay, so meaning that we can use P equals to FV. This P is actually instantaneous, uh, instantaneous uh, power where V is constant. Okay, uh, P here is 100 kilo, F is 500, so you can find your V where you will get V equals to 200 meter per second. Okay, so that's all for today. Hope you enjoy my video. Remember to subscribe my channel and share with your friends. See you on next chapter. Thank you. Bye.